Hi, I'm Greg Jolivet from the Legislative Analyst Office. Thank you for tuning in to this webcast related to our recent report, Department of Real Estate Opportunities to Improve Consumer Protection. First, I'd like to give you uh, an overview of state law as it relates to real estate market and consumers. And then I'd like to uh, briefly discuss some of our main findings and our recommendations. So, how does state law protect consumers in the real estate market? Well, among other things, it requires individuals to obtain a license to legally engage in the real estate business, and it authorizes the commissioner to revoke or suspend the license of individuals who violate the law. It requires the commissioner to investigate all written complaints by consumers and it establishes a recovery account for individuals who have become victims of fraud by real estate agents. So, what were our findings? Well, first, uh, we found that the educational requirements to obtain the license are fairly minimal and really provide little guarantee of competency. For example, we found that in certain cases, uh, individuals may not be required to take a single course uh, in an area of real estate in which they specialize, such as real estate finance or mortgage loan brokerage, for example. We also found that the disciplinary process is, takes a long time, um, and there are really very few disciplinary actions taken against licensees and many of the actions that are taken are based upon technical violations, such as failure to post a license at a place of business, for example. We also found that access to the recovery account by victims of fraud is fairly limited. So what were our recommendations? Well, we recommend that the legislature tighten the educational requirements to obtain the license for example, by requiring individuals to complete continuing education classes annually as opposed to any time within the four-year license period. We also uh, recommend that the legislature enhance the enforcement efforts of the real estate commissioner, for example, by authorizing additional penalties or sanctions, or by reducing the burden of proof in administrative hearings against real estate licensees. We also recommend that the legislature increase the department's accountability for performance outcomes by reporting periodically to the legislature. And finally, we recommend that the legislature expand access to the recovery account so that when individuals do become victims of fraud by real estate agents, they might not necessarily have to uh, file a lawsuit against the real estate agent and able to uh, recover any damages that they've suffered. This, we think, would be particularly helpful when, for example, the department determines that there has, in fact, been fraud or misrepresentation by the real estate agent. These are just a summary. This is, has been just a summary of our findings and recommendations, and we hope that you'll read the report so that you can get the full picture of uh, the work that we've done here. Thank you.